Now, guys, as you know, I was so lucky on the weekend um, to win uh, an ACRA award, which is a radio award um, oh, really? for Best Newcomer. And you guys made a big deal about it mm. on Monday, um, and I'm very grateful for that. And I'm, I'm not going to bang on about it. <laughs> this is the last I'll speak of it. But, <laughs> but you got a bottle of Verve. I got a, I got a pen this morning. <laughs> Someone came in and gave you a bottle of Verve, and, and I got a, a second-hand pen. Um, and, and I did receive a whole lot of um, congratulations from many um, of our listeners well on done. social media. Yeah, and, it's a great and I'm award so to win. And I'm so grateful for that. Um, but there was just one comment on social media that I want to address. Um, not the one on Instagram, the person who said, um, I think I'm funny that I, and I'm not. Because, you know, my kids tell me that every day. You know, that's you are not, funny. That's not news to me. If you weren't funny, you wouldn't be doing this job. <laughs> well, I'm not a comedian, so that's not why I'm doing it. Um, th there was just one woman. Um, and let's face it, it's always a woman on social media who wants to make a comment about another woman I find. Um, and it was underneath a photo on Facebook, um, of me, um, holding the trophy up and she just said that I was a show off. Oh. Um, now the background of that photo is, if, is they asked for an official photo and I just held the trophy and had a Jamui little smile and the photographer said, you should celebrate, celebrate this moment. And so I did and I lifted the trophy and I had my mouth open and I looked really happy. Um, now... What I'm doing here, like you and I are working really hard. We're not, I'm not saying that we're heroes for what we do. We're not curing cancer. Yeah. You know, we're not doing double shifts at the RAA. Yeah. But um, you and I have worked really hard this year. Yeah. Like two jobs. We've got families at home. Um, and, um, you know, there are days when I've wondered whether it's worth it. Oh, God, I didn't think I was going to do this. Um, and whether I'm good at it. Um, and then um, when I got this, I thought um, that it made it worthwhile. Um, and so I was celebrating and I was, uh, I was showing off a bit for that moment. And, and, you know, why shouldn't I have been able to do that without someone telling me that that was, a, that I was showing off? I wasn't, I was celebrating. I was celebrating my hard work, your hard work. The same way if you won a grand final or uh, a... If a, if a footballer kisses his Brownlow medal in celebration, does someone call him, tell him, call him a show off? They probably do. And that's the world we live in. That... But, and I just think, I, yeah, I just think that we should, and as I said, mo like 95% of people out there have celebrated, but, the, but I was really hurt by someone who said that in that moment when I was really happy and that this year, um, was felt worthwhile and the toll that it's taken on my family felt worthwhile and the times that I've been sleeping out in the voice booth out there. Um, and I was so happy. And then some woman and I know, and you tell me all the time not to read the comments and not to care, but one woman just wanted to, you know, tear me down in that moment. And I just thought that was, and it shouldn't, and I shouldn't have let it get to me.